or News Channel 8 at 10 on the CW Tampa Bay, sponsored by Farrah and Farrah. Good evening, I'm Paula Cerro. Thanks for joining us for News Channel 8 on the CW Tampa Bay. It's a real life back to the future that state transportation officials say will be live by about this time next year. Flying cars aim to help you skip the traffic are being researched and built right now in Polk County. News Channel 8's Ryan Arbogast is live in Tampa tonight after speaking with FDOT about these plans and whether a flying car program would even work. I'm intrigued by this one, Ryan. Paolo, those state transportation officials say it's the exact opposite of flying on an airplane. Think of this more like an Uber. Set your destination, get in that car, and you're in the air in seconds. The goal is to make it from here to Disney in about a quarter of the time. Gridlock be gone. From bumper to bumper on I-4 to the highway in the sky. Is this the age of the Jetsons with flying cars, air taxis, a flying Uber? The Florida Department of Transportation's chief of staff laying out plans for what they call the new age of transportation. Electric vehicle takeoff and landing craft being tested right now at the SunTracks facility in Auburndale. It'll be the first facility in the entire country that actually focuses on both modes of transportation in one location allowing us really to zone into the transportation technology and research. The drone like taxis would work exactly like an Uber. Call your ride, sit back and fly, connecting major cities that would begin with a direct shot from Tampa to Orlando. The focus is first on the I-4 corridor and then we're looking at other areas around the state, but it does cover through the state with hopes of having commercial service by the end of 2026. Pricing is still literally up in the air. The service is set to work out of existing airports or newly built vertiports with outside vendors setting the price. The goal is to reduce congestion on the highways by building up, not out. Our goal is truly to be the first profitable commercial service in the country, if not the globe. So we're really proud of that. Paola, now no pun intended here, but when the pilot program kicks off, it's focusing on that I-4 corridor, but FDOT officials tell us this is way, way bigger than that. They eventually want to connect some of those other cities like Miami, Jacksonville, Tallahassee, even the Fort Myers area. And then after that, we want to add attractions and necessities. Think places like Disney and even a hospital. We're live in Tampa tonight. Ryan Overgast, 8 on your side.